Reactor is a powerful plugin for downloading tons of fuses, macros, and other plugins for DaVinci Resolve. If you've watched any tutorials about Fusion, you've probably heard about it and used it. Recently, they made Reactor exclusive to the paid version. However, there's an easy way to sidestep this. This is the Git page for Reactor. To put it simply, this is where all the stuff from Reactor is downloaded from. To access that stuff, simply click on the Atoms folder. There, you'll find a lot of plugins and fuses and other stuff. To demonstrate how to download that stuff, I'll now download the Xglow fuse. You can use Ctrl plus F and type out what you're looking for to find it. Click on the folder, then click on the folder inside the folder, and there you'll find the file you're looking for. Click on that file and then click on the download button on the right. It should be to the right of two other icons. Something to note, I've only installed fuses with this method, so your mileage may vary depending on if you're downloading something else. Now we're going to open DaVinci Resolve. Open a project file, then go to the Fusion page. Double clicking on these numbers in the bottom right will open up the Fusion setting. Under Fusion, go to Path Map. Under Defaults, hover over Fuses. Now, right click on Fuses. This will make a little menu appear with various file paths. I'm pretty sure you can use any of the displayed options here, but I've always put my fuses in the first one, so I'll go with that. Clicking any of these options will open your file explorer with the file path you selected. Now, go to your downloads folder and drag and drop your downloaded file. Next, we will now have to restart DaVinci Resolve. Just close it and open it again. Your new fuse, or whatever you downloaded, should now be accessible and working as intended.